Alright guys, welcome back to another video, Survival HQ here. So today I thought I'd make a video on a pocket stove that I have. It's called the MSR Pocket Rocket. Now, I've had this for a few years now, and I thought finally I'd give it a review. So I bought mine, I, I can't remember the price, but I just looked it up for the sake of the video. Right now it's around $45 US on Amazon. Um, let's talk a little bit about the stove. The stove itself comes in this red hard plastic case, V-shaped lid. Let's open it up here. There you go. Inside this case is the stove. The case is not watertight. It's just a, a plastic case. It does have a drainage hole here if you happen to get something in it. Case weighs 34 grams, so 1.2 ounces. Very little. I mean, the, the case is uh, shaped exactly the shape of the stove. So no wasted area, no wasted space. So it's very efficient, the case. I like it. Let's talk about the stove. So the stove itself weighs 86 grams, or 3 ounces. So combined with the stove and the case, we're talking 4.25 ounces. So what can I tell you about this stove? So it has three stands. You can unfold like this. In the middle here, you'll see it has a wind shield that prevents a lot of wind from blowing through and blowing out your flame. Here's the valve where it attaches to the canister, and uh, here's the valve where you turn the gas on and off. Very light stove, like I said, very sturdy for its size. Uh, it uses these canisters. The, I got this one here, this is the MSR. Uh, smaller smaller canister. And here's a, uh, a Primus larger fuel canister. So it is a fuel canister stove, and it simply unscrews Take off the lid and it simply unscrews on top of here. Oh. There you go. Just like that and away you go. So a really nice light pocket stove. Um, it's not the lightest and it's not the cheapest. There are some really good quality stoves that you can get. There is the $12 stove. Uh, hence the names, 12 bucks, really good quality uh, considering it's made in China. Uh, it is extremely light, lighter than this and cheaper. I mean, we're talking a third the price. But uh, I like this one. Uh, it gets given the name the Pocket Rocket because of the sound it makes. It definitely sounds like a rocket when it's on. I'm going to do a boil test here in a, in a minute or so and you get a chance to actually hear the sound because this thing is an absolute raging inferno. So anyways, this is the uh, setup. I'm going to switch to the Primus can. And I do have the MSR pot stand as well, which is going to go underneath one of these canisters, underneath the Primus one, and uh, allows it to stand a little bit more stability. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, this pot stand is $15 on Amazon, weighs 33 grams, 1.15 ounces. To me, if you're going to have a pot stove, uh, uh, sorry, a canister stove in your backpack, you need a pot stand. Uh, this gives so much more stability. Uh, these, uh, not often, but these can fall over quite easily from just the weight of your pot. Hence why I use this stand. So anyways, let me uh, get set up here. I'm going to cut away. I'm going to get set up for a boil test. And uh, I'll give you this uh, little example of this bad boy and what it does. Okay. Alright guys, we're all set up here. Let's talk a little bit about this stand and the canisters. So the stand, like I said, unfolds in these three pieces like this. You simply set the canister in these two sides, pull back the black spring on this side, locks into your canister, and away you go. Pot stand will fit any size canister. These large canisters here, they uh, weigh 13.2 ounces, or 374 grams, and they hold 8.9 ounces of fuel. You can get these on Amazon for around nine bucks, uh, eight, 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 nine dollars now. And then you have the smaller canister, this canister here weighs 215 grams, or 7.6 ounces. Gives you 3.9 ounces of fuel for around 6, 650. So for an extra dollar 50, you get twice the amount. But then you're also dealing with, uh, you know, twice the size. These are very nice. They do fit inside. Many of the pots we're going to use, like this Titan kettle, fits nice inside to stow away. That's the benefit of the small one. 
I'm not sure exactly how many uh, meals you can get out of the small one versus the large one. I've never counted, but uh, I like both. Large for when you're at base camp, small in your bug out bag or when you're backpacking. So these are handy canisters. So let's talk about the pot we're gonna use. It's the pot we're gonna use, this is Titan Kettle. I've done a review on this on my channel. This is also by MSR. This is a great little uh, kettle. Holds just under one liter. We're talking uh, just a few drops less than one liter with the lid on. So that's the pot we're gonna use. <coughs> now the claim by this stove, the Pocket Rocket, is that it'll boil one liter in 3.5 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna uh, boil one liter and see exactly how long it takes. See if it meets its uh, three and a half minute claim. Now yes, it is indoors. So we're talking a perfect set of uh, conditions here. We're not outside today. So that's one thing to keep in track. There's no crosswind. Uh, it's not cold, so the canisters aren't gonna act up with extreme cold. Uh, even knowing it is minus uh, 27 outside. So yeah, very cold today. So let's uh, give me another minute here and I'll get completely set up, get a timer going, and we'll uh, continue on this test. All right guys, so let's get this test done. So here's the pocket rocket. Let me turn it on. So it doesn't have an automatic light, automatic sparker like you'll see some, but that's okay. I mean, we all carry lighters in our kits. So it's fine to light it like that. The valve is very nice, very smooth, very fluid. Can turn it down to its lowest setting while I talk here. So here is the sound. Like I said, it does sound like a rocket, hence the name. So let's get it set up here. So here's the kettle we're gonna use, like I said. Let's pour it on top here, put it on top. And let's fill it full of the one liter of water. There you go, set it on top. Put the lid on, and let's start the time. Turn it up a bit. Now, like I said, it does have that sound as a rocket. So, quietest stove on earth, definitely not. It's the only issue if you're trying to use it in an area where you don't want to be heard, it will make noise. So, if you're gonna use it somewhere where you don't want to be heard, make yourself a fire, use an Esbit stove, there's other options. So let me cut away again, and uh, when we get closer to a boil, I'll get back with you. All right, so we're almost two minutes in, and we do have some boiling, boiling bubbles on the bottom. We're not quite there yet. I mean, I've had this stove for a few years, and it's a fantastic stove. I mean, review aside, I really like it. It is. Uh, just small enough to fit in a pocket and great for any kit. If you're gonna buy a canister stove, I mean it is $40, $45 US on Amazon, so it's not cheap, but you know, it's one of the best. It's one of the best quality stoves. Very sturdy, very durable. I mean, it, it will bend. That's why it comes in a really solid shaped case to prevent your stove from getting damaged. Take another look here. Coming on three minutes, and we are very close to a boil. Let's take the lid off so you can see. Let's take you up here. We are closing in. Not quite a rolling boil. Uh, I 
think. Stop the timer. Go back a little bit here. Now I will say, four minutes, two seconds. Uh, it can go a little higher. Wasn't quite on full. So I just turn it ever so slightly, just for noise quality. When you do turn it on high, there you go, you can see. It's definitely gonna boil. just turn the stove off so like I said four minutes two seconds that's with almost being on full so three and a half minutes is definitely within reach let's take this water off here dump it out let me clean up here for a second and I'll get back to you again well there you go guys there you have it uh, here's the stove the pocket rocket let's just unscrew it here Four minutes and two seconds. Said three minutes and 50 seconds. But it's three minutes and a half for uh, one liter. It would have hit three and a half if I had have had it uh, wide open. It was about 90%, 80, 85% wide open. Uh, if it had been 100%, it would have hit it. Uh, great little stove. Package it up. There you go. Open up the can. Uh, container, I should say. And away you go. Nice and snug. So there's the MSR Pocket Rocket. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for uh, liking and subscribing to my channel. And uh, I'll be back again, guys, as soon as I can with another video. Take care.